Welcome back to Pandemonium, my City Skylines 2 Let's Play series. This is Episode 7, where we'll be taking a scenic detour from our bustling main city to establish a new, charming rural town. This serene getaway will feature sprawling farmlands and quaint, low-density housing, offering a peaceful contrast to the urban hustle and bustle. Let's embark on this rural adventure and watch as this disconnected town comes to life with its unique charm. Get ready to step into a different pace of life where every field and homestead tells a story of simple and peaceful living. Our first step is to expand our canvas by unlocking new tiles specifically for our rural town. This will give us the space we need to create a sprawling, pastoral landscape that feels authentic and lived in. Taking a slightly different approach in this town, we'll be downgrading the highway to a more rural-style road that will run straight through the town. This road won't just be a transportation artery, it will be a part of the town's identity, providing easy access while maintaining the area's rustic charm. The design will focus on minimizing the environmental impact, preserving the natural beauty and integrity of our rural setting by avoiding large highway interchanges. Our road layout for this new rural town will be a true testament to the art of organic and adaptive design. As we branch off the main highway, the initial section will have a bit more structure to it. This is where careful terraforming comes into play, ensuring the roads are at a suitable grade and integrate well with the transition from the highway. In this area, we'll balance the need for accessibility with a gentle nod to the natural landscape, creating an inviting gateway to our town. As we delve deeper into the heart of the town and approach the hills, our road layout will take a more fluid form. Here, we'll let the land itself guide our design choices. The roads will curve and wind following the natural contours of the hills, creating a harmonious dance between infrastructure and nature. This approach will not only preserve the integrity of the landscape, but will also provide a driving experience that's both unique and visually stunning. In the hillside areas, we'll be nestling our lower density housing. These homes will be thoughtfully placed to take advantage of the natural terrain, offering residents spectacular views of the countryside. The roads in this section will be designed to ensure that each home is seamlessly integrated into the landscape itself, 
will be avoiding the creation of steep inclines or sharp turns, ensuring that the journey to each home is as enjoyable as the destination itself. This blend of slightly more structured roads near the highway and the flowing, contour-following roads in the hills will create a varied and dynamic layout. It's a design philosophy that celebrates the beauty of our rural setting, making each journey through the town a delightful experience. With every turn and ascent, residents and visitors alike will be treated to changing vistas, each offering a unique perspective of the stunning landscape that makes our rural town so special. Education is a cornerstone in our rural town, and to reflect this, we're placing a delightful elementary school right at its heart. This school is more than just an educational institution. It's a centerpiece around which the community's daily life revolves. With a design that emphasizes safety and nurturing, it will be a place where young minds are cultivated in an environment that's both welcoming and stimulating. The school's architecture and surrounding landscapes will be crafted to foster a sense of belonging and community, making a place where children are eager to learn and grow. Adjacent to our school, we're planning something truly special for the town. The merging of two parks into one quaint little community area. Utilizing the surface painter tool will seamlessly blend these green spaces to one large, unified area for recreation and relaxation. This park will be more than just a playground or a picnic spot. It's designed to be a hub of community life, where education meets leisure in a beautiful, natural setting. The space will offer families a place to gather, play, and relax, reinforcing the bonds within our community. This communal park with its lush greenery and ample space for activities will become a cherished part of our town's social fabric.
To accommodate our little learners and their families, we're adding a small custom car park to the elementary school. This will ensure convenience and safety, all while maintaining the aesthetic of our rural town. The car park will blend in with the surrounding greenery, keeping the school's natural backdrop intact. Thoughtful landscaping and prop placement will make this more than just a parking space. It will be an extension of the school's community-centered spirit. Utilizing the capabilities of developer mode, we're embarking on an ambitious project to enhance our rural town's agricultural landscape. We're strategically adding fertile land to cultivate a diverse array of farms, each uniquely designed to enrich our town's rural character. These farms will be far from ordinary. They will feature custom designed driveways that meander gently through the fields, leading to elegantly placed silos that serve both functional and aesthetic purposes. These silos standing tall against the rural backdrop will not only provide necessary storage for farm produce, but also add a striking visual element to the landscape. Each farm will be a miniature ecosystem, brimming with life as fields of crops sway gently in the breeze. We're envisioning a variety of crops, creating a patchwork of colors and textures that change with the seasons, adding dynamism to the landscape. This agricultural diversity will not only make our town self-sufficient in terms of food and resources, but will also attract a variety of wildlife, adding to the ecological richness of the area. But these farms will represent more than just food production centers. They'll be integral to our town's identity. 
There will be places where the community can connect with its agricultural roots, where residents can learn about and participate in farming activities, will organize farm visits, harvest festivals and farmers markets, turning these areas into lively community hubs. This way, the farms will become more than just a source of sustenance. They'll be vital, cherished parts of our rural heritage, reflecting the hard work, dedication and care that define the spirit of our town. In our quest to enhance the visual diversity and realism of our farmlands, we're introducing a strategic yet beautiful design element, rows of trees that will give the illusion of lush orchards. These trees will be carefully selected and arranged to add a vibrant splash of greenery, breaking the potential monotony of expansive crop fields. As these trees mature, they'll form a striking feature in our rural landscape, creating corridors of shade and colour that change with the seasons and provide a habitat for the local wildlife. This touch of orcharding will not only enhance the scenery but also echo the traditional practices of rural farming, bringing a sense of authenticity and timelessness to our agricultural areas. To further define and organize our farmlands, we'll be planting rows of bushes between different plots. These natural dividers will create the impression of smaller individual farms within our larger agricultural expanse. Each section, bordered by these green barriers, will have its own unique crop, contributing to the varied tapestry of our rural landscape. This approach not only adds a visual interest, but also serves practical purposes, such as reducing soil erosion and providing windbreaks to protect the crops. The inclusion of these bush rows will add depth and texture to the farmland, enhancing the overall beauty of the area while maintaining a structured, organized appearance. These landscaping choices, the rows of orchard trees and dividing bushes, will transform our farmlands from mere agricultural spaces into a picturesque, harmonious landscape. They'll infuse the area with a sense of order and purpose, making our farmlands not just productive, but also an integral, beautiful part of our rural town's identity. The result will be a landscape that is as pleasing to the eye as it is bountiful, a true representation of rural charm and productivity coexisting in perfect balance.
Our residential zones will be thoughtfully placed to complement the rural landscape. These won't just be any homes, they'll be nestled into the landscape with each house having its own unique character and charm. The zoning will ensure that each home feels like a natural part of the hillside, overlooking the lush farmlands below. We'll focus on fostering a sense of community and camaraderie, ensuring that despite the low density, residents feel connected and engaged with one another. Terraforming our hillside residential areas is more than just an aesthetic endeavor. It's a careful balance between human habitation and natural preservation. By sculpting the land, we'll create terraces and gentle slopes that make building homes on these hillsides not only feasible, but also visually appealing. These terraces will allow each home to have a unique elevation, offering residents breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. The use of natural materials like boulders and rocks in our landscaping will ensure that the homes blend seamlessly into the hillside. Maintaining the area's natural beauty while also providing structural support to the terrain. This careful shaping of the land will create a living environment that is both unique and in harmony with nature. In addition to beautifying the area, our terraforming and landscaping efforts will also serve crucial environmental roles. The inclusion of boulders and rocks on the cliff faces will act as natural barriers, reducing the risk of landslides and soil erosion particularly during heavy rains. The strategic planting of trees and shrubs will also further stabilize the soil and help in water retention, creating a healthier ecosystem. This greenery will not only provide aesthetic value, but also enhance air quality and offer habitats for local wildlife, contributing to our biodiversity. This thoughtful integration of housing within the natural landscape will result in a living space that is both environmentally responsible and visually stunning, exemplifying our commitment to sustainability and harmonious development in our rural town.
In our rural town, each farm will be imbued with a level of detail that breathes life and authenticity into the landscape. The introduction of non-functional sprinkler systems, while not operational, will add to the visual narrative of a modern, well-maintained farmland. These decorative sprinklers, along with custom barns, will be key elements in creating a vibrant, active farming scene. The barns, each with its own unique rustic charm, will serve as central features on the farms, reflecting the traditional rural architecture and acting as storerooms for farm produce and equipment. By incorporating these elements, we aim to craft farms that are visually engaging and reflective of the industrious spirit of rural life. And with another major fire in our midst, we're temporarily shifting our focus from the rural town to enhance our urban emergency response. We're constructing a helicopter fire station in the city, a critical addition that will vastly improve our capabilities in handling forest fires and other emergencies. This new facility will not only strengthen our preparedness, but also add a modern element to our city's skyline, symbolizing our commitment to safety and rapid response. While the helicopter depot is a crucial development for now, we plan to revisit this in a future episode. We'll explore adding more details to the station and possibly even consider relocating it to optimize its effectiveness and integration with the city's evolving landscape. This flexibility in planning underscores our commitment to continually improving our urban infrastructure for the safety and well-being of all our citizens, both in the main city and our new rural town. And as we wrap up today's episode, I'm putting out another call out to you in the community to name our new little town. Your suggestions help to make pandemonium what it is. And looking ahead to the challenges of connecting our growing region, in the next episode, we'll dive into public transit solutions, ensuring that our citizens can navigate our expanding landscapes with ease. Join me in the next episode as we continue to shape this idyllic rural haven into a fully integrated part of our pandemonium region. But until next time, happy building. <laughs>